Hi, welcome back to Why the Book Wins. Today is another book collection video, as you can see by the title, and also as you can see by the title and the thumbnail. I specifically am sharing different editions of Jane Eyre that I own. And before we get into the video, if you enjoy vintage books, special edition books, anything bookish related, definitely subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And if you wanna check out my other book collection videos, I will link to the playlist so you can check all those out. So I have videos where I share off just vintage books, just Easton Press books, just first edition, rare editions, whatever, all that stuff. But yeah, it would mean so much to me if you subscribe. Anyway, onto the books, let's just get right to it. The first off is not vintage, but it, I mean, looks like it could be because it's in such bad shape. And it is this, Folio Society edition of Jane Eyre. The book slip is falling apart. I even had to tape it on the inside to keep it together. But anyway, I got this on eBay for a really good deal and they had pictures. I don't know, I didn't realize how bad a shape it was in, but I think I paid like $20 for it. So I guess you get what you pay for because I mean, the spine is just falling apart. It is from 1960 something, let me check, 1965. And this is a UK edition, so it shipped from the UK. So, so there is the title page. And also that gives you a look of the illustrations too. So not only is this one not in great shape, I also don't love the illustrations, but you know, and it's also like the spine is falling apart. Like this just, is not in good shape and it's very delicate, which it shouldn't be this delicate. Clearly it just has had a rough go of it. But here is another illustration. So yeah, that one is pretty cool. So I do like, they are definitely unique. So, so it's not like I'm totally unhappy with this purchase, you know, like it is cool. It is Folio Society. I guess I just wish it was in better shape, but you know, I could always find another one if I really wanted one in good condition. And also Folio Society has a more recent edition of Jane Eyre that it has done. And I've been eyeing that on the Folio Society website. So maybe at some point I'll buy it. Here's another very unique drawing, but it's pretty cool. I am, I know I started out complaining about this book, but I am happy with the purchase and it was cheap. So how much can I really complain? It's really just the spine that is just not doing well. And the illustrations, maybe they're, some of them are a bit sloppier than I prefer as far as artwork goes, but it is unique and it is interesting to look at. And the rest of my Jane Eyre editions are all vintage. So that's pretty cool. Starting off with this little one, it's not a tiny book, but it's definitely like smaller than normal. The spine is doing okay. And this one is from 1926, so approaching 100 years old. And the title page is beautiful, look at that. And then also when you open the book, it's faded, but you can still kind of see the drawing that was there. And yeah, so not only is this one a vintage edition, it is also illustrated. And these illustrations are very detailed, which tend to be the kind I prefer. So here is one. So beautiful. The illustrations in this are, you know, far and few between, but hey, at least it's got some. Here is one more. And let's see if I can find an illustration that isn't a like scenic one, landscape drawing. You know what? Maybe they're all like landscapes and architecture because that's all I'm seeing. So here's another one though. And yeah, I don't mind that they're all like architectural and landscape because they're beautiful. So no complaints. Okay, here we go. Here's one with some people in it. So Jane and Mr. Rochester. Oh, and Adele. Yeah, so that's a really cool one. So yeah, this one, almost 100 years old. It's in good condition considering, and it has these beautiful detailed illustrations. So very happy with this one. 
if you are interested in finding your own copy, I will let you know what the publishing house is. Or I guess I showed it earlier, but it's the Macmillan Company from 1926, the Modern Readers series. So there's that again if you want to see. But yeah, this one is, I don't know which edition is my favorite. These last three I all love, but yeah, this is definitely a great one. Next up is the Illustrated Rainbow Classics edition, and this one has the book jacket, which with old books, if it comes with the dust jacket still, like that's a huge win because that can be hard to find. And this one, even without the dust jacket, it still is a cool looking book. So it's always kind of a bummer when you take the dust jacket off and the book is super boring. So I don't know, this is just, it's exciting when it's like, wow, either way it looks cool, you know? And then when you open the book, here's this design or that drawing, I guess not design, but. So this one is from 1946. So here, and here is the title page along with one of the drawings, the paintings. And let's find some other illustrations in here. So this one has quite a few illustrations actually, and they're all kind of in this style. Here's another one. Yeah, these, they're not as detailed as that last book, but these ones I love too, just in a different way, I guess. Even though they're not as detailed, they're still just really beautiful. One last one. But yeah, this one has a lot of illustrations, so there's more in here. Um, and here's another color illustration, by the way. Most of them are black and white, but yeah, you get a couple color ones in there. So yeah, very happy with this one. I got this one on Macari, I think. And yeah, it was just, it wasn't a bookstore or anything. Macari is like eBay where it's just random people selling their books. But yeah, I got this one for a good price too. I don't remember how much now because it was a little while ago, but very happy with it. Rainbow Classics, Jane Eyre. If you see this one for sale, it probably won't be very expensive, so it would be worth it, in my opinion. I really love this one. Last but not least is one that is a set. It comes with Withering Heights and Jane Eyre. I have not yet read Withering Heights. I will be reading that later this year. In this video, I won't be showing the Withering Heights book. I'm just gonna be focusing on Jane Eyre. But these ones, they don't come with dust jackets, but they just have, this and Withering Heights just have a cool illustration on the book itself. This is obviously from when she is at the boarding school orphanage place. This edition is from 1943, so just a couple years older than that other one I showed you. And it has illustrations, and these illustrations are just so fitting for Jane Eyre because it's a gothic novel, and these illustrations just have that gothic kind of look to them, I think. Here is one. And let's find another. And this one has a good amount of illustrations as well. So yeah, you can see what I mean by just that really has that gothic look to it that is just so fitting. So yeah, very happy with this one. Here's the title page. So it is done by New York Random House and the illustrations are by Fritz Eichenberg. And this one, I think I got this one on Thrift Books or Abe Books, but I've definitely seen it like on eBay and other places. So if you search the publishing house and then, you know, Jane Eyre and Withering Heights, I'm sure you can find it as well. Again, it's from 1943, so I consider that vintage. And this edition that I have is in great condition. It like does not even, it's not showing its age. So I got lucky with that. I mean, the slip actually, is kind of falling apart. Like I'm not gonna show you, well, yeah, like this part, if I could like, I could push it up if I wanted to and it would almost fall off. Having said that, the books themselves are in very good condition. And yeah, I just love this set. It's so cool and I love the illustrations. And so that's it for my Jane Eyre books. I only have the four. I, like I said, I've been eyeing that new Folio Society edition. So I will probably get that at some point. And then, I mean, I can never have too many vintage books. So 
especially if I could get ones that were even closer to the origi original publishing date, because this is from the 1800s, and the oldest book I have is 1930, I believe. So it would be nice to get ones that are even older. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll keep searching around and try to find something that's reasonably priced. But yeah, my Jane Eyre collection. And obviously I love Jane Eyre. I did a book versus movie comparison for that a little while ago, which I will link to. Highly recommend the book. Beautifully written. It's an amazing story. And Jane is just such an incredible character. And yeah, it's a beautiful story and just wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. And if you have read Jane Eyre and Withering Heights, I'd be curious to know which one is your favorite. I know a lot of people love both. And I've only read Jane Eyre. I'll be reading Withering Heights later this year, as I said. And so yeah, I'm curious going into that, like which one you guys prefer if you have a preference. And I know there's another Bronte sister, I believe Anne Bronte, but her book books aren't quite as famous as Charlotte Bronte's and Emily Bronte's. But anyway, yeah, again, hope you like this video and I will see you next time. Bye.